back to the last day of our tour of Argyle. Yes, sadly. It is, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's been a great week. We still have a day left. Um, I think we're going to go back up around to Perkin Point, which is where it all started. Uh, the weather is a lot better today, so I'm kind of thinking that uh, we can do the things today that we couldn't do when we arrived last week. We've, we've driven through some stunning scenery this morning. Um, after leaving Ardentini Beach, um, we didn't want to go back up that hill that I mentioned about in my uh, last video section of the video. Um, so we managed to get around the shore road, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And then we joined the A15, and beautiful. it is absolutely yeah, beautiful, well, an especially with the sun yeah, An absolute treat, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was lovely. Yeah, so uh, we're going to see if we can find somewhere to stop off on. Um, and have a little nosy, um, but really for now we'll just carry on driving and um, we'll show you some of the highlights. So you can see our motorhome yonder, we're at Firkin Point now, just off the A82 at Loch Lomond. Um, it's a great little site, come down the hill, which I'll show you there in a minute. There's a few different parking bays, not very level unless you get to the bottom where we are, which is specific motorhome parking. Now it says for permit holders only, but there's nothing that you can buy for this time of year. So they either don't really want you to park here or they probably just turn a blind eye to people who are passing through. Um, it's flat at the bottom, so yeah, you're very beautiful. There's picnic benches here, which are just by the car park area. And then it leads down to a really nice tarmac path, which goes in both directions. And then you've got the lock in front of you. So the path goes 
both ways. More picnic benches over there as well. And it leads down to a little beach. Now, there are signs up saying there are water hazards, cold water, sudden drops and deep water. So it's worth bearing in mind for anybody who comes along and fancies a bit of a dip. But the beach, it's just a little beach, lock, a little lock beach. But yeah, very nice. If it was a hot summer's day, you would just want to dive straight in there. But it's not, and I'm not going to. Really beautiful though. The colours of the trees over there, the other side of the lock against the blue sky are incredible. Those autumn shades. I've just spotted a little plaque on a bench and on a tree. So I'm guessing this might be a little remembrance bench. How lovely. Somebody who used to sit and spend their time looking out into the lock, I guess. Let's see what it says. In loving, in loving memory of Amelia Beatrice Cecilia Evelyn Cameron. Wow. And Eleanor and Gibby, beloved mum and dad, and gran and granddad forever in our hearts. That's really nice, isn't it? Just something to remember somebody by. And they obviously used to spend a lot of time here. Just looking out across the lock, seeing the same view as what I'm seeing now. And who can blame them? I found Firkin Point on search for sites, but you can Google it as well. Firkin Point Loch Lomond, and you'll find that it's directly off the main road. Easy access. You can see the parking bays. Like I said, some of them aren't very level. Um, there's a little information point here as well with toilets. Not open at the moment, and I don't think the toilets are unlocked either but we don't need those anyway, we're self-sufficient. And we are down over in the corner, in the motorhome parking area. Here's the motorhome parking area. You can see we've been joined by some neighbors over the other side. And here's our little Dora the Explorer. You can see Nick there. <laughs> He's waving. You can see him when we get a bit closer with our little Scottish flags in the window and our poppies. <laughs> hey! to Strencham to get uh, KFC. get KFC yes on a bit of a bit of a feast so uh, it'll be quite nice <laughs> 